As a digital artist, most of my time drawing is spent on this. Or this. But there is another tool that I, as a digital artist, have been underestimating, and something that you might not be considering either. You've seen the title, I'm talking about sketchbooks. But not in the way that you'd normally think, drawing some sketches or traditional artworks in there. If you want to unlock your digital art potential or your excitement for creation, there are a few strategies that I began to keep in mind that might just help you too. Perfectionism is often something raised when talking about sketchbooks. It's something that I face quite often also in my digital practice and something which things like the undo button and digital tools aid. Digital art accommodates a degree of perfection, which is why when you are sketchbooking as a digital artist, you want to spend time to just play and have fun with drawing. It's easier said than done, I know. No matter the amount of pep talks, you still want every page to be full of artworks you are wholeheartedly proud of. But if you're a digital artist looking to improve by sketchbooking, you seriously just need to save that energy for the screen. We want to shift our mindset a little bit. So instead of aiming for a beautiful sketchbook that others would wow at, I want you to keep a sketchbook that reminds you that you enjoy creating and thus inspires you to draw something new in your sketchbook or with your digital supplies. I'm going to be upfront and tell you that the advice to keep a messier sketchbook is not something that worked for me. Keeping drawings you don't like and make you feel somewhat upset and demotivated is not something that worked for me and kept me coming back to my sketchbook. Don't get me wrong here, a huge part of keeping a good sketchbook is allowing yourself to go crazy and draw stuff which pushes your limits and maybe doesn't go to plan. But when looking through your sketchbook, if it fails to remind you why you love creating or even detracts from this effect, you need to get rid of it. My solution, and maybe your solution too, scrapbooking. Creative people draw inspiration from all around them. For people who love art, this may be photos, packaging, colors, motifs, other artists, or even your own previous art. I weave these things I enjoy into my sketchbook by collecting and sticking things that I like over drawings that I just don't. I collect packaging, paper in colors I like, stickers, washi tapes, and print out images. This doesn't mean go crazy and cover every sketch you do, just the ones which do not remind you why you enjoy creating. They have served their purpose of helping me practice, but do not bring me inspiration, so I can just let them go. That said, keep the imperfect and messy section that you actually like. Here's some of my favorites. Another way I utilize sketchbooks as a digital artist is keeping it as a before space. So before I create something, I have a place to explore my process and document my ideas. A good sketchbook welcomes words as much as artworks. I use line sticky notes and blank pages to create ideas for future drawings, comics, OCs, and even animation memes. These ideas don't have to leave the sketchbook, but to keep them there can remind yourself of your own creativity and encourage you to write down the new thing you've been cooking in your brain. As well as this, a sketchbook is a great place to practice art technique. When I go to draw digitally, I found I would rarely just let myself sketch and practice. This may not be a problem everyone has, but for anyone who is experiencing the same issue, the solution that worked was to take practicing art technique to the page. Anatomy, values, character design, most of my before techniques of art take place here. A strategy to both encourage the use of your sketchbook as a before space and a source of inspiration is to use a limited set of supplies when drawing in your sketchbook. I definitely didn't adhere to this before, obviously I had some finished works in here, but moving forward I aim to only use these favourite items of mine when working in my sketchbook, unless I specifically want to test out a medium or explore colours. This discourages me to create fully polished artworks, so rather focusing on the product, I focus on the journey. Doesn't that bring a tear to your eye? But what I'm trying to say is that practicing techniques and focusing less on achieving a predetermined outcome should be a mentality to consider when using your sketchbook. Your sketchbook is your before space. It is the muse that cheers you on and gives you the place to improve. Applying what I practice in my sketchbook to my digital art then comes easily. Keeping a sketchbook as a digital artist allows you to strike a balance between the process and the product. 
At least it has for me. So start collecting things that inspire you, start drawing those references that have been piling up in your Pinterest board, and remind yourself why you enjoy creating. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.